Hi everyone, this is Anna from VP State Team and today I will show you what is new in VP Residence 3.8. In this update, we have extended the Elemental Widgets plugin with 46 team new elements. They are meant to help you build a beautiful and personalized property page design, especially if you wish something different than the default property look, which already offers a wide range of design options. And what is new? is that from this update with VP Residence, you can manage the property custom design, either using the team property template or with Elementor templates. I will show you first how to manage a custom template with VP Residence page template. First, go to Pages, Add New and create a new page. Add a title to your page. And then from Page Attributes on the right, you must select Property Page Template. This is mandatory. Next, you have the option to show or not the page title. I will set to no and these other page options, which I will set as header none, advanced search no display and no sidebar, will help me to visualize the template preview better as I am building it. Publish your page and then click on the button Edit with Elementor. The Elementor page builder lists all the new widgets on the left under VP Residence Property Page Widgets. Here we added 46 new widgets to create your custom property template and this list includes every element that we already offer with the default look of the property page. You will find each property section independently listed, each property slider each agent form variation and including a list of all your custom fields if you wish to use them individually in a different order. This list adds to the already 14 widgets that were available before this update. So now you have 50 widgets to build a custom property template as you desire. And to show you an accurate example, I will build a template for you now. In Elementor, you use sections to organize the rows and columns to manage content in one row. We start by adding a new section and I will add two columns to this row. From the VP Residence Properties widgets, I select breadcrumbs for the left column and share buttons for the right column. Now for each widget, you have several content and styling options. You are free to make further edits as you please. What I will do here is hide, for example, the favorite button from here and then I will position the button on the right. Next I add a new section row and I split this into two columns as well. Then from the list of widgets I choose the property title for the left column and for the right column I will choose to show the property price. You can edit the font family font size, colors, text, position, and so on. And these are just some examples of how you manage the styling for property title. And then you can repeat and do the same for the property price as well. So you can be as creative as you wish. Elementor offers you separate options to manage the alignment of content inside the row. And you can also change the spaces between rows with margins and paddings. So these are just some examples of how you can make the two rows content show in the middle and fit nicely on your site. The next element I want to add is the property slider. You should know that the team offers six slider variations as widgets for Elementor and you can choose any design you wish, but I will go with the Masonry Gallery as I am building this template for you as an example. You have several options to style this particular gallery widget. You can set the height of the image, then you can play with the border style and color. You can also change the border radius and you can choose if to show or not the property status on the property image. I will add now a new row with two columns for the content area. And the first element I want to add is actually the property overview. This new team widget has several options that allows you to manage the 
content and the look of the overview. For example, you can hide the, select, the section title, you can hide specific fields, you can change the icons, the fields and the text label for each property element as well. And you can also manage the space between elements too. You have more styling options for colors, font size, font weight and so on. The next property widget I will add from the new list is the description section. This will include the document you attach to the property if they exist as well. And for this widget, you can manage the styling of the text and the container design too. You can change fonts for the text and the heading colors, paddings, box shadow and more. The next section I want to add are the property details. And for this section, you can choose how data displays on how many columns too. And same as before, you have several styling options to change the font size, colors and so on. And the next element I want to add is the features and amenities section for which you can do the same as before, change the columns, layout, text, and so on. Now, for the right column, I want to add the H and Cut widget. I uh, look for it and I select it from the list. Then I use drag and drop to place it to my desired position. This uh, card will include the agent photo name and contact information, you have the option to hide specific details and you can style the look of the information available as well. Then I will add a contact form. There are actually two other options for the form. I will choose uh, this one, which is from the new list of widgets. And then from the options of the widget, I will hide the agent card because I already have it above. This form will email the message to the email address from the agent, agency or developer or user. And I want to add one more element on the right, that will be the video section. And for this section you can hide the title of the section and uh, change the styling of the entire container as well. I will add now a new section and here I will add the related properties. For this widget, you can manage how many listings to show, how many rows, and you can also set a different design for the card look. So for example, I will choose uh, type 6 and you have 5 other designs to choose from. You can also style the heading, how it looks, font size, and you can also change the margins between the elements. The last section I want to add is a property map. This section I will use it as a row, which I want to show as wide as a screen. And for that I use Elementor row option to stretch the section and to show the content in full. And then I remove the margins as well. From the Blueprint Residence Map widget, you can choose the map height if you wish to show title or not. And you can also change the container padding like this. And then you hide the title and you have a full row. You will see the map on live as you look at the property. You can use various other combinations of VP Residence property widgets to create a layout for your property page. But for this video, we will save our template here and next I will show you how you can make this display for all properties. As team option, you can choose to set this template you created for all your properties. You go to Design Property Page Settings and select the template from the list. You save it and then on the same settings page, you have other global settings that influence the look of the property page. If you use the property template, you manage the sidebar position and the type of the sidebar from this settings area. You also manage the hero header media and the slider for the hero header media section if you want to display it or not. So save the settings here and then you can go on a property page to check how your template looks. And this is how our template looks on the property page and the same look will apply to any property. So everything we have done so far is possible with Elementor, the free version, and we present Elementor widgets, which you 
get with the team purchase. I will show you shortly how to use Elementor templates, but for that you will need the Pro version, which is a paid extension and must be purchased separately. If you add Elementor Pro, you can go to Website Builder and then use the Website Builder to create a page template. From this list you have to choose Single Page. Click Add New, select Single Page and type the name of your title here. After that, you simply have to build the template with the same widgets as I showed you before. So, how you build a template is done exactly the same way with Elementor VP Residence widgets. And then we, you add them to your template and organize them as you wish them to display. When you are done building the template, and I will fast forward through this step, you save it. And then Elementor will show you the display conditions section. This allows you to set the template for all properties. But you can also set the template for specific properties and specific categories. So basically you can create different templates with Elementor and then display them for different property categories. And this is a short demonstration of how you can set your template to show for specific categories in any combination you wish. We wrap our video here, but we hope you like the new team update and you will stay tuned for the next one. And remember to subscribe to V President's YouTube channel to get informed instantly when we publish new videos. Thank you for watching.